Khloe Kardashian does her first interview post breakup from Tristan, and let's just say it was awkward. Yikes! Justin Bieber is getting put on blast for his April Fool's pregnancy prank. And Ariana Grande may have admitted she's bisexual. Let's mm. get to sipping and spilling this tea right now on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome to Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. I'm Madison Hill. And I'm Courtney Revolution. Courtney, I love it. It's not even Wednesday, and we're rocking our pink. This yes, is not cool. planned. That's it really wasn't, to be we honest. We are just on the same wavelength, Girl, always. Always right ESP. here. It's right here. We see each other. We see it. We mm -hmm. see it. Okay, now let's kick things off talking about... I don't think Chloe's quite on our ESP level. She's really not. She's really not. <laughs> um, but she had her first interview. It was her, Kim, and Courtney. They were on Jimmy Kimmel last night. Jimmy's doing this kind of like Las Vegas situation. I saw, giving us showgirls. I was like, that. okay, he's getting the tea, so I'm cool with it. Um, Jimmy just so casually and nonchalantly, I love it, brought up mm. Chloe's breakup with Tristan. Take a quick look. Is it time to stop dating basketball players? <laughs> I mean, that is just a nice little segue. Chloe is <laughs> stressed. I feel like she has like not wanted this moment for no, the show. No, but I feel like he asked it in the best way possible. Instead of just coming for her and being like, so let us, like, how are you doing post Tristan? Like he was just like, so have we like learned a lesson maybe at this point in our life? Being that every basketball player we've dated has cheated or at least been rumored to have cheated on uh -uh. you. Um, what's worse though is the fact that Chloe still hasn't seemed to learn her lesson because she went on to say this. I don't know, you know, I like what I like, what can I say? Yeah. I am just like... Madison, no. Why? Madison, Why? no. <laughs> Chloe, we will continue to talk about this the more that you show that you haven't changed. Right. You get what I'm saying? If nothing percent. changes, nothing changes. What's so funny is he was like, so what is it about basketball players? You know, is it the high? Is it, what? do you play basketball? And she's like, it's just like the whole thing, which I'm like, what is that? What mean? is the whole thing? What is the whole he thing? He can dribble a ball <laughs> and he can shoot it in the hole, or in Tristan's case, he can sit his cheeks on the bench and warm them. And then he goes and puts his thing in places where it doesn't belong. Too. I'm just saying, I don't understand. And she said that maybe she should listen to her grandma, she MJ, should. who has made her appearance on Keeping Up several times because MJ suggested that she start dating an accountant or someone along the lines of a different profession, um, which I love because, you know, I always say on here. Yeah, I always yeah, you like, do, Madison. Why can't XYZ just mm -hmm. go for a nice accountant? Like, MJ, you're on our level of ESP. Thank you, but Chloe just loves loves basketball. She loves to observe. She loves, I guess, the game on and off the court. I don't really understand. Madison, you can like a lot of things and not date someone in that industry. Just because That's you love basketball I doesn't mean you have to date a player. Agree. I completely agree. I love that Jimmy kind of brought this up, but I don't know. I just feel like she's still not gonna, I, I think her next boyfriend is still gonna be someone along those lines. You know what? Chloe is hard-headed. She is. Even though she has such a big heart. But not in a good way. Not, not in a good, good way. way. She yeah. has a big heart, but she's hard-headed. I don't wanna see her date someone next and then this person cheat on her and then it's another athlete. No, what do they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and, and over expecting again? expecting different results. Yes, that is Chloe right now. Chloe, uh. we want to root for you and want you to change it up, but you're not giving us much hope. <laughs> Just like Tyra said, we were all rooting for you, Chloe. Exactly. Now you need to make a change. <laughs> now, sliding on into some other news. Yesterday yes. was April Fool's, and yes. Justin Bieber got us, he Madison. He totally got us. I was so... <laughs> My emotions were just really upset yesterday. Girl. That's all I can say. <laughs> on April Fool's, you got to stay on your guard. And I'm so gullible. Okay. Like, as just my normal personality, mm -hmm. I believe anything, which is bad. <laughs> I won't believe anything anyone tells me. I'm like, the sky's falling down today? Oh my God, I better get an umbrella. This and chicken Justin little. Bieber just <laughs> totally played on that. Okay, so let's break this down. Yes. Late in the afternoon, Justin started posting some Instagram pictures to his grid. Mm -hmm. First of a sonogram, and then of Haley in what appeared to be a doctor's office getting her stomach checked out. Which I will say, Okay, I saw the sonogram and I was like, no way. And then I saw the doctor's office and I said, still hmm. was kind of like, mm, I don't know, because I saw the IV and it was like that bright yellow and mm -hmm. I've gotten an IV with vitamins that looks like that. So I was like, mm, 
mm, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. But then like, who am I to judge? I don't know what these bougie doctors they're going to. They can know knows? something that we don't know, exactly. Madison. Something that our coin don't reach. Yet. Exactly. And that's why <laughs> we came on here to talk to you guys about it because we we thought it was April Fool's, but in the event it wasn't, wouldn't that be horrible if we didn't let you guys know? Yeah, that's actually that would have been <laughs> that would have been tragic. We can't claim to bring the tea if we don't bring the tea at all times. Okay. So <laughs> Justin continued by posting a sonogram with a puppy in the spot of a baby, saying, "What is this?" Uh, April Fools. He got you, girl. Roll my damn eyes. <laughs> I was just like, seriously? Seriously? And girl. I knew. I had a feeling that this was going to end badly. Mm. Well, and the fans, they were not happy as well, no, Madison. No, 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 no. They freaked out on him for mm -hmm. being insensitive and for posting such a cruel joke. Now, I know this has kind of been, I feel like, a thing in the past three-ish years. Mm -hmm. I feel like on Facebook before yeah. April Fool's Day, you see you oh see what I'm talking about. Yeah. And it's also those things that are like, be aware, pregnancy's not a joke. April Fool's yeah. is not the time to play. So when I saw that Justin was doing this, I was like, oh, he just dug himself a hole and now he's gonna have to work his way out because people were pissed. It stressed me out, Madison, because I mean, I watch a lot of TV and I feel yeah. like all of these reality TV women, these housewives are always having all of these like infertility issues. They gotta go to an island to have a baby and all of that. And mm -hmm. so it kind of triggered people and it kind of hit home for a lot of people. So uh, I get it. Yeah, I totally understand. People were commenting different things like this is disgraceful. I hope you and your family never actually go through a miscarriage or infertility. You have no idea what it's like. Yikes. Someone else actually commented as well. It's not very cool to the rest of the people who struggle with infertility and people joking about pregnancy. Along with it's not funny to take advantage of something so beautiful that has been ripped away from others all because you wanted to April Fools not entertain. Yikes. Girl. Mm -hmm. Now Justin has since responded on Instagram to the backlash. Oh, he did? He yeah. definitely did. He said, there's always going to be people offended. There's also people who don't take jokes very well. I am a prankster and it was April Fool's. I didn't at all mean to be insensitive to people who can't have children, but I will apologize, apologize anyway and take responsibility and say sorry to people who were offended. That's to me saying sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Right? He said, I'm sorry you were, up I'm sorry you felt this way. Right? It was like one of those but kind like, of apologies. But like, I'm actually not sorry. He said, I'm a prankster. I said, no, <laughs> Justin Bieber, you're a singer, sis. <laughs> so. He does try, because like his mom was commenting on it too and stuff. I just feel like, Justin always kind of uses that excuse of like, I had no idea, I'm not aware. And it's like, I feel like as a celebrity, you should be 10 times more aware of how the public feels on certain topics. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not a celebrity and I knew that just from my Facebook feed, like Madison. that's not okay anymore. Okay. And I feel like as a celebrity, that's your responsibility to be aware. And Justin, you can't keep using the excuse that you didn't know. My thing is this, as an adult, Justin Bieber, you have to hold yourself accountable when you make mistakes. Now, we know you're young. We young, too. Okay? We're right there with you, but somehow okay. we're mature. We're mature. <laughs> and no one's perfect, Hannah Montana, but it no. would have been awesome to see him take some responsibility. I agree. Actions. I agree. Okay. Now, I want to get your thoughts on Ari. Oh, Our girl, Ari Hold on. I wish I had my ponytail. I would have clipped her on to the back of this hat. You know how I feel about a clip on ponytail, <laughs> so I'm glad that you left that at home. I've been whipping it. <laughs> so, yesterday, her and her friend, Victoria Monet, dropped a new single called Monopoly. It's have a bop. you listened? It's a bop. I had to repeat while I was doing my I was folding my laundry. I know. Okay. Pretty much everything Ari I feel like has put out this post Pete Davidson phase of her life has just been exactly what we needed. Nothing but trap pop magic gold. Yes, right exactly. It was pretty much just a thank you to their fans for, you know, I don't know, everything. Making that they've her been singles doing. go number one. <laughs> we was counting all the rings, girl. It was up there like and, eight I, and I think it is really cool that she decided to do this with Victoria, being that Same. they're such good friends. We are living. But people started freaking out over this lyric. Take a listen. So people heard that and immediately were like, Ariana Grande just came out as bisexual. Mm. What are we thinking? I'm thinking that, I mean, are we surprised? Ariana Grande has been like such an ally for the right. LGBT community. Frankie Grande is her brother. He's gay as hell. Right. If she's bisexual, I want there to come a time where this is not news. Right. Happy for her. I think it's an iconic way to sort of just like, you know, drop a little nugget. Mm -hmm. But I mean, she's still and, Ari to me. Right. And I think that's the most important thing. But mm -hmm. I think some people are making it a big deal because they're like, is she actually coming out as bisexual? Is mm. she trying to use this to like mm. get publicity? People that was, are, people that are was wondering some if they're queer baiting. Right. That was some mm. of the reactions on Twitter. I don't think Ariana would do that no. because exactly what you just said, she has been such an ally. Um, and there's also kind of been previous 
rumors, you know, of course, with yeah. Thank You Next. People thought she was admitting to dating a girl named Aubrey. I remember. And then, um, remember with uh, break up with your girlfriend. Yes, the, the end, end of that video. The end. Okay. So, you know, I feel like this is kind of like the third piece of the puzzle. Um, so Maybe. for people kind of going after her, I truly don't think she's doing this in a malicious or Me bad either. way. I mean, Me that's either. how I feel. I don't think that Ariana Grande is a type to sort of like queer bait just for some album sales. That's Ariana, I, yeah. she, she could breathe on that. a beat for yeah. 30 seconds and somebody's going by it. A lot of us is going by it. I was going to say, um, right here. My dollar twenty seven. Um, yes, but Ariana responded to a fan asking about her sexuality. Um, she basically tweeted her back. She was saying that Ariana shouldn't feel the need to label her. Mm -hmm. And she said, I haven't before and still don't feel the need to now, which is okay. So great. Ari's not about to put a label on what she likes. I think, I agree with you. I feel like whatever she loves, let her love. I mean, she hasn't ever publicly been in a relationship with mm. a woman that we know, obviously. Um, and since breaking up with Pete, she's only kind of like back cycled to her other exes with Ricky mm. and Big Sean, but you know, who knows? I'm it's still a, waiting. I'm still waiting on Big Sean and Ariana. I know. I kind of am too. that's the ship that I am. I'm the captain of that boat. You're the captain okay? of that one. Shawniana. Or I'm the captain of Kylie and Travis. <laughs> and Justin and Selena at some point. Uh, but we know that's over. We know. I know. I know. The ship has sunk. I know the ship has sunk. All right, you guys. Let us know what you think about all these stories. What are your thoughts on Chloe's response to Jimmy Kimmel? I like what I like. What can I say? Lord, what do you think? <laughs> do you guys think people are being too sensitive to Justin Bieber's April Fool's prank. And do you think Monopoly was Ariana's way of coming out as bisexual? You guys, talk it out down there in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys here next time on Holly Scoop's Daily Rewind. Don't forget to click that bell. Ding, ding.